Three bedrooms, one level with a great meadow view in gorgeous Saddle Lake Farms. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty. Call on Colleen. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the first day of December, the first day of meteorological winter. And boy, we got some active weather coming up. A lot to talk about, so let's just get right to it. First off, it's cold this morning. Quite frankly, colder than forecast. That's a look at downtown Clanton. Always good to see the uh, Christmas lights out. Sky's clear. Demopolis, boy, things are going to be buzzing down there this week. This is Christmas on the River Week for them. And uh, it's clear and cold as we look over the uh, flags in front of the Demopolis Civic Center. And Columbus, Mississippi from the sky cam over in Lowndes County just across the state line. Well, that tells the story. We've got that whopper of that upper level low that's uh, just south of El Paso. Produced a big snowstorm for El Paso yesterday. And you can see the big massive rain gathering on the east side of that that we'll be dealing with late tonight and tomorrow. But first off, it's clear and cold. Look at those numbers. 29 for Cullman and Haleyville. 30 in the Shoals. 32 in Anniston. Readings just above freezing for Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. Now, we'll start the day with sunshine this morning. Wind up around 60 today, but the clouds will be increasing as the day wears on. And there's the rain uh, over the western Gulf and the Texas coastal plain that continues out there. And it uh, looks awfully wet here late tonight and tomorrow. In advance of the system, already we have flash flood watches up for a pretty good chunk of southeast Alabama. The uh, flash flood watch is for areas south of a line from near uh, Montgomery or Mobile to Montgomery and Roanoke. And we've kind of talked about that as the line where we also could see some strong storms south of that line. Winter storm uh, advisories, winter weather advisories continue for parts of West Texas and also up north over to the Dakotas. Severe weather risk for tonight. There's a slight risk over the uh, Gulf Coast region. That includes New Orleans, Biloxi, Mobile, Pensacola, Gulf Shores. The warm sector begins to move on shore. And then tomorrow, no change in the slight risk. It includes Dothan in that southeastern corner of Alabama, really for areas south and east of Montgomery. And looking at the probabilities, the really high probabilities are over North Florida, places like Tallahassee, Jacksonville, and then uh, up the Atlantic coast, places like Savannah and uh, Charleston. And there could be a few tornadoes in that zone. So our friends on the uh, South Atlantic coast in North Florida will have to watch out for a pretty rough day tomorrow. And around here, we're just talking a soaking rain. There's the QPF chart. And that's suggesting a bullseye of 8.8 inches uh, around Pensacola. And the amounts taper off in Alabama from near three-quarters of an inch around the shoals to seven to eight inches down at Dothan. And again, you can clearly see the reason for the flash flood watch being in effect for that area south of a line from Mobile to Montgomery to Roanoke. And that's where the heaviest rain should be and the greatest chance of any severe weather will be tomorrow. Don't expect any flooding or severe weather issues in Birmingham tomorrow. And of course, beyond that, we've got this other deal at the end of the week everybody's buzzing about. So let's talk about it. This is the 06 EGFS at noon today. And there's your trough in West Texas. Down below that uh, will be dry today, but clouds will increase this afternoon as the rain begins to move up into Louisiana and the Alabama Gulf Coast. Midnight tonight, the GFS has the surface low near Mobile, and that's when some severe weather could begin to break out way down south. And again, around here, we'll begin to see the rain probably be between 9 and midnight. And then uh, tomorrow at noon, the GFS has the surface low near Chattanooga, Tennessee, with a heavier rain off to the east. So... Uh, if this is right, the heaviest rain for us would be from midnight tonight until noon tomorrow. We'll peak at the NAM, and it continues to be a bit slower, but it is in better agreement. It's still got the surface low uh, north of Tupelo, Mississippi, up around Iuka, but still the heaviest rain around Dothan, and we should be tapering off at midday. So we'll play it that way in the forecast. Uh, rain heavy at times, midnight tonight through noon tomorrow, and then diminishing by tomorrow afternoon. Now, Thursday... This run, not as cold as recent runs, because we're still in the southwest flow aloft. But understand, the cold air will be coming in, and it's going to be very shallow. So the thickness values are not going to reflect the cold temperatures. For now, we're not going to bump any numbers up. We'll forecast highs in the mid-40s on Thursday with a pretty good north wind. And you can see the next impulse producing more snow for west Texas. And let's go ahead and go to Friday. You can see that strong uh, uh, Vortmax rotating down through uh, West Texas. 
And we'll take a look at the surface chart uh, midday Friday. Snow breaks out over Texas. Wow. College Station, Austin, Waco, uh, even San Antonio. They could see some pretty good snow here if this is right. Uh, now, we stay dry on Friday. And then let's go to Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. And you can see that Vortmax driving right through here. Very strong energy in the upper atmosphere. And let's see how the model plays it down at the surface. This is 6 o'clock Saturday morning. It's got the uh, surface low in association with that feature just northeast of Jacksonville. The freezing line, that zero-degree line, this is about 5,000 feet off the ground. This is at 850 millibars. And sometimes, not always, but sometimes that can be a rain-snow line. And if you were to take that on face value, it would be snowing north of a line from Gadsden to Alabaster to Butler down in southwest Alabama. Now, you know what I'm about to say. We've got to get the thing out of here tomorrow before we can focus on this. We take these one at a time. Uh, there is a very real chance we won't have a flake of snow here, or if we do, it's just going to be flurries. Uh, so don't get too excited about that for the snow lovers. Just be aware that the models, are, especially the GFS, it's putting the idea on the table. Uh, and again, that's 102 hours out. We always feel a little better about a forecast when you're 84 hours out. So uh, later today, we'll feel better about this thing. For now, we'll mention a chance of snow flurries Friday night and Saturday morning. And then we'll make the changes as need be. Uh, Sunday, of course, that features on by. Uh, that will be a cool day. Uh, we we'll, could start the day in the 20s, really Saturday morning. Of course, Saturday morning we won't be in the 20s with that uh, surface low, but we could be a Sunday morning. And then Monday, here comes the uh, next feature, and that looks like it might bring rain by Monday night of next week. Now, this is the uh, GFS showing accumulated precipitation uh, valid through early next week. And, and on the upper left, that's rain, very heavy rain, obviously, over southeast Alabama. In the upper right, that's snow. Now, this is based on the OZ run, not the O6Z run I just showed you. But, again, uh, I don't want anybody getting just excited and too much buzz about this just yet because we've got to get this thing tomorrow out of here before we can really focus on that. Uh, let's go out there uh, next week on the 9th of December. Pretty good-looking shortwave. And, by golly, if that's right, that could bring strong to severe storms. What a, what a month we've got here. 992 millibar low uh, way north of us. And then on the uh, 16th, into the forecast, another short wave. Uh, that disturbance is on by, but that looks pretty cold. So uh, sure looks like this will be a pretty interesting month to watch the weather around here. And that's what we do. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video by 3.30 or so here today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day, there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.